Now watch me hit base map. Hey guys, Scott Riegers here with Eastman. I worked with the base map application this entire trip. And I have to say, I am impressed. Now, what is it about this application that impressed me? Well, let's start digging into some of the cool features that make it what it is. Down to just about freezing. The feature that I particularly enjoy, I can count on one hand the number of people that I truly trust with mule deer locations. Call me crazy, but when you hunt general areas all the time, it's it's a tough situation. So you're pretty protective of what you're doing. Well, the coolest part about base map is I was able to share with Brandon locations of several deer that I found. And so now we both have a record and we can both do some more e-scouting in base map. And I found a big mule deer. Well, one of the nicest parts of what I'm able to do with that big mule deer is I can put a picture exactly where I saw him. So you can see that I've got a picture saved with his location. And there's also my pin marker in green, which is an actual marker for a deer. So I can track my locations on where I have scouted all of these. Very easy, I labeled it four by four. So I close this and you can see that it's gone. But another piece that I have is you can label it as private for sharing. So for instance, if I want to share my camp location, you can see where that is at. And you can see that I can make this private so only I can see these locations. And the, one of the best parts is you have different levels of what you can share. So you can take a look at this, add this plus, add a photo, choose from library. Yep, you guys can see all of my pictures. So if I want to put this picture of a camp location, stick it right there, add a marker, put camp picture, done and log select an activity look at all the different activities you can label on there so you can sort these and make it very easy to look at what you're doing then i'm going to adjust my privacy to private so no one else inside this can see but here's the next cool part this is the social media feature that i was talking about so i can see different pieces of whatever is made public, whoever wants you to be able to see different things that they're doing. And it's a really cool feature to be able to share all that with your friends. Another feature that I really, really, really enjoyed on this trip was tracking. And I've not been a guy who's big on tracking with a GPS and tracking all your steps and things like that. And it has nothing to do with um, that I've that I didn't like that feature or anything. It's just sometimes it's demoralizing to realize how realize how far or how far you did not go. And so this time I did, and it was incredibly accurate. I started out up here on the top of the map, and you can see where I walked and collected some of my gear, then came back down to my camp. I measured it against several other uh, mapping tools, including in Google Earth, how you can track your line. And I was very impressed. Or one of the other features that you can add is the offline map. And so one of the coolest things is an update that they've just done that allows you to use an offline map, get a new map. So let's just say a pro. So I've got the custom map. So there is no file size limit here. You can get this as detailed as you want. So I'm looking at this unit inside Colorado right now. Go right here, get that as detailed or as close as you want and download. I have used this very extensively in about eight days of mule deer scouting and I can say that it works incredibly well. All right, so here I am at a water pumping location. I'm going to mark this location on my map because this is a seep. It's a lot better water source than what I used last night. I actually plugged up my filter a little bit, had to clean her up. 
it's also a whole heck of a lot closer to camp. If I had done a little research and found this seep last night, it says I was going to my known location, I wouldn't have bumped the bucks that I did. They've got a marker in there that's blue, and so that's what I'm gonna use. My last known water that's closest to my other camp. All features from a recent scouting trip. Take some time, visit basemap.com. It's a very cheap subscription that you can get. You can download the app through the app store. You can pay monthly or you can pay for one lump sum and be done with it. And then you have it for an entire year. So this is a really cool tool that you can work with. You can see, you can download all your units. You can share this with who you want. You can look at pictures of just say hikers. If they're in a, say a region that you've never been to, you can see their pictures from an area. So there's all sorts of features and things that you can do to be able to really help your hunting, make your hunting better. As you can see all the hunting information across the entire United States. Season dates, research data. See all the different tag types and season dates that are there. Then also go over to harvest data. You can see total hunters, average hunting days, and success. So guys, make sure that you take some time and that you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Also make sure that you have subscribed to the E! News so that we can keep sending you more content like this so you can find out about new tools like the Base Map tool, the Base Map app, and make sure that you have everything you need for this upcoming hunting season, for the season we've got going on that started right now and into the future for all the research that you wanna do.